what are your thoughts and your opinions? <coughs> There's a lot of people that turn these people off, subhanAllah, and I, I can't yeah, stand that. Look, There's the be guy that's pumped you, and he fills Ramadan yeah. and he starts growing his beard, yeah. he starts putting his sunnah hat on, and you can feel it because a couple days ago, man, this guy didn't have a beard, but Ramadan came and you know what? He's excited, but people then turned him off. I don't like that, man. Well, to be honest, man, um, I've got a bit of a confession to make. I used to be like that, wallahi. Yani in my da'wah, I used to say to people, you know, don't be Ramadan Muslims, don't be this, that, and the other. And I feel like now that that was a very, very big mistake on my end, uh, something that I genuinely do regret. Because the reality is, is we're all Muslims. And even if I am a Ramadan Muslim, you know, I'm a Ramadan mm. Muslim not for you and not for someone else. I'm a Ramadan Muslim for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's something that's so amazing about Ramadan that you don't find in theory, you know, like sometimes when I'll be speaking to people and they tell me, you know, what's so amazing about Ramadan? There's something you can't explain, bro. It's a feeling. It's a blessing. Look, it's mm. the greatest month of the year. And what would you it's turn this year, guy off? Exactly. It's the year that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose. Now, I know sometimes the action can come across as hypocritical that, you know, look at this brother, look at this sister all year round. They're doing, you know, this, that and the other. And now all of a sudden, the first day of Ramadan, He's pumped. Yeah, but the Prophet does say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, he Salah says, Salah. don't assist shaitan against your brother or your sister. Yeah, and even if this person is acting like all of a sudden that they're religious, right, don't be a means to turn them off. Mm. Because the what month if of Allah Ramadan Azzawajal? is special. Now, what if it Allah is special. Yeah. And people do want to change. And people do get soft. People, you know, look, I've seen it, man. And I'm sure and you've look, seen it. And look, if you do it repetitively, week, 30 days, it becomes a habit. So we yeah. ask Allah, this person, yeah. they know, you know, is a, is a Ramadan Muslim. He starts worshipping Allah in that month for 30 days. It becomes a habit. Then after Ramadan is finished, he goes, you know what? I can do this, man. Yeah, well, but but by mean, you going, hey, man, you're a Ramadan Muslim or running a market on him or, you know, picking on him. Sometimes these guys, they, they feel it, I man. You can see it. Like when they come to the masjid, the boys are there. Sure, Ramadan Muslim, you're growing your beard. You got your sinner hat on now. And the guy's there going, like, he's accepting it. But he can tell that he's really frustrated, man. Yeah, and, and also... Like I know for myself, it also reveals that there is a tinge of arrogance mm. for me. There was a tinge, in, you know, that there was a tinge of arrogance within myself. That when you're calling someone else a Ramadan Muslim, what are you saying about yourself? What are you boasting about yourself that, mm. that you're so great that?